here we go. So, hi, my name is Hannah Kennedy. I am doing an oral history interview with my grandma, Wida, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, for American politics at Liberty University. Um, so, can you please state your name and where you're from and where you're born? Uh, I'm Wida Edwards. I was Wida Smith. I lived in Georgia. I was born in 1939, and I went to school uh, in southeast Georgia. Can you tell me about a, um, a political event that you've lived through um, around the 1960s? Political? Or, you know, any kind um, of event. <laughs> any kind of event. Well, um, yes. I, uh, when I went to school, um, it was very segregated. Um, the whites had their school and the blacks had their school, and that was just an accepted thing in Georgia. And... Um, if we got new equipment at our school, say um, the girls got new um, sewing machines and home economics, mm -hmm. well, the black schools got their new sewing machines and their home economics. So it was pretty um, pretty evenly uh, distributed, the finances were, and uh, yeah. people had their part of town, and we had our part of town, and we never thought anything about it. Really? Nothing? Really. It was just... It was just normal, normal, normal uh, life uh, down there. And you were, where were you at in Georgia during that time? Uh, Glenville, Georgia. Glenville? Mm -hmm. Is that by Savannah? It's about an hour from Savannah. An hour. Okay, cool. Um, so what was your, my, ne my next question was going to be if your community was segregated and how. So, uh, so you guys had segregated schools. We were very segregated in the, uh, and the blacks liked it, um, you know, that way, and so did the whites at that time. At that time, mm -hmm. that's interesting. I didn't, I wouldn't have thought that. No, they they were just totally fine with it. They were very fine with it. That's mm -hmm. cool. I guess it makes sense because you guys they they were getting equally what you guys were also getting, so right. there wasn't a lot of I actual guess, yeah. discrimination. So 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 to speak. Yeah, we didn't discriminate against them. You know, it was just, just the way was. life was, and that was the, what they knew, and that's what we knew. Yeah, so what was your um, family situation like? Well, we were, um, my dad was a farmer, and we lived on a farm, and um, poor, poor farmers. <laughs> and and um, we rode the school bus to school, and um, and we had the, we had a white school bus, I mean, for white kids, yeah. and they had their own school buses, <laughs> and I took them to their school, and we went to our school, but um, we... We had uh, farm help, and some of them were white, some of them were black. But, That's cool. Uh, I didn't know you guys had people other than your your family who was doing yes, farm stuff with you. Yes, we uh, we hired them to help us do certain farm certain chores, things. and uh, so we'd go pick them up early in the morning and uh, take them home that evening. And, That's so cool. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know that you guys would like. I guess I just never thought about that. But you guys actually yeah. went and picked them up, and then yes, early in the morning. And then we would feed them lunch, and with you know we had whites and blacks, so yes. we'd feed everybody lunch, take everybody home, and so um, that's just the way life was. In, yeah, in Georgia at that time. So that's cool. How many siblings did you have? I had five siblings. Five siblings: your mom and your dad. Uh, so there were eight of us in the family. Uh, six kids: mom and a dad. And I thought that's the way everybody did. <laughs> yeah. So what was your, um, let's see, let me, let me back up just a little bit. So what was your, what was your political, like, affiliation or party that you identified with at that time? At that time, well, uh, I was born in 39, but I'm talking about the 50s and 60s, but, um, my uh, dad and, and everyone I knew, all farmers, were Democrats. And um, my dad uh, actually campaigned for a Democratic uh, sheriff or, you know, anyone yeah. in our town. He would get out and, and work for them because at that time, that's what um, seemed to be for the farmers was the Democrats. Was the Democrats? Mm -hmm. Was the Democratic Party, like, it, I'm not the same, but still similar with their their views or was it more different back then well i don't really know what the views were then um, yeah. but uh, i just had to go on what my dad felt like you know and yeah. he felt like they were um a conservative group actually and yeah. i know now we're called liberals but uh, 
but uh, they were always for helping people, you yeah. know, and uh, helping the farmers and helping the workers and, you know, the mines or anything, so. It's yeah. kind of interesting how it's kind of changed over the years from, because it's kind of shifted slightly over to the Republicans doing the more conservative and, like, the mines and the coal workers and that kind mm-hmm. of stuff, but I feel like the Democrats are more for the, the working class. No, well, that's what I always thought, too. Yeah, so yeah. has your political party ever changed, or your... No, I've, I've always been a Democrat, because that's, I just feel that's like what... they are the more conservative, even though, like I said, yeah. now they're claiming that we're the liberal ones. But, <laughs> uh, but I just feel like we have more uh, a vision of what the American people are, you yeah. know, uh, what their needs are. They're not big money people, so yeah. to speak. And, uh, We're lowly so. farmers. <laughs> <laughs> and workers. And workers. Yeah. Yeah, because you became, you became a nurse after college, right? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you got to move up. I did. <laughs> <laughs> From one form uh, to another way. I started out making uh, $2.75 an hour. Oh, really? And uh, ended up making like thirty two dollars an hour. So that's crazy, <laughs> especially for like going over the years. That's an in- that's really impressive. Actually, it's very cool. Yeah, it it was good to to finally get up there. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So um, during the the civil rights movement, how how did you feel about all the stuff that was going on during that time? Was it was it like pretty well known? The way that, like, you know, we get the news now, so we know about everything. Uh, Yeah, the big marches and um, things were there around 1960. And, um, I mean, I was kind of dispatched from it or detached from it. Yeah. Just hearing it, I didn't feel like it really involved me. And uh, I really um, probably would have been a little resistant to it because it was... Not what I was used to. It wasn't what I knew, you know, so uh, I never would participate in anything like that then nor now, you know. But now I'm certainly glad that that they're getting their rights, you know, which I think God made us all equal. And I think their rights are just as important as my own. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it's partially because the, the segregation that you guys had where you lived and in high school and everything was kind of a an equal thing for both parties. Right. I never felt like they were suppressed or yeah. anything really, you know. Uh, I wonder if that I wonder if that was the norm or if that was just like where you guys lived at the time cuz everybody, I mean obviously you you were farmers and you worked with both both mm-hmm. sides, so and you know, maybe I didn't really know everything either. Well, yeah. I would say but, me in high school I didn't know anything. But about I mean, I, maybe I didn't know what they we're living with or putting up with, yeah, you know, because to me, you know, they had clothes just like I did, and they rode a bus just like I did, and went to school just like I yeah. did. It's just that it they were separate, so you know, I didn't realize there was any suppression going on actually. Yeah, so. didn't didn't see people yelling at people in the street. No, nothing like that, and I didn't <laughs> see the blacks in need of anything. Anything, you yeah. Know? Um, so. Um, that's why I didn't. I didn't think they had to really fight for rights. I assumed they had rights. Yeah, you know, that's very interesting, especially in Georgia. Like, because you would think that Georgia's usually a more conservative place. So it's kind of interesting that it was a little bit more. It's, it, at least from your point of view, it seems a little bit more equal, just because they were not being as because I know growing up in school they they talked about oh well in the segregation they had horrible books for school whereas the, the whites had the nice pristine yeah. new ones and it, like that's kind of what I grew up learning in school it's kind of interesting that they were I mean you yeah had... actually uh I remember us you know doing getting the new things and that they got the very th- same things as many as we got yeah and, you know new just like we did so that's so cool see I love this um, so did you, the, the movement cause any conflicts or conflicting views with your family or any of your friends? I guess if your dad was democratic, then uh-huh. most of you were, mm-hmm. you have a sister who's not, was she that way now? Then? Um, you know, I don't know what her affiliation was at that time, but, um, but she would have, um, been strong, whichever way she was, <laughs> but, uh, she was never, you know, um, 
I don't think against the blacks getting the rights. Yeah. You know, their uh, God-given rights because she is a Christian. But, uh, no, I don't know her point no. of view on that. That's fine. I just wondered because, you know, I mean, nowadays, like, if I was going to sit down with my dad at the dinner table and talk about politics, he's on the conservative side, and it would be him and my sisters getting debates all the time. So it's just kind of one of those things. I don't know if that's something that you might have, like, caused, but if your dad was Democratic and the most of you guys were, too, then. Right. And yeah. with how you were growing up and everything. So um, that's actually, like, really cool. So um, did the whole civil rights movement, everything that went with that, did that – like, um, where is it? Does it, like, make you look at government or politics in a different way at that time? Uh, not at that time, because at that time, I didn't really feel like it was um, a legitimate issue, you know, because I just thought things were already equal. Yeah. So, you know, that's because I was young and I didn't understand, <laughs> Yeah. you know, um, what the blacks were fighting for or, you know, asking for at that time. Yeah. But I'm glad now that they they you know, did that they did everything. did yeah. persevere and uh, and that got some more rights. You know, the voting rights and all. I had no idea they weren't allowed to vote. Yeah, I would say I wouldn't have known either. So, so. so I'm I'm all for them having their rights. They're yeah human beings. Everybody gets to have like their we rights. Are, so yep. So did you um, do you remember the the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. How was that? Like, how was that? I'm sorry. How was that? Yeah. Well, uh, of course, it was certainly news. And it to me, it was sad news because, uh, you know, anytime a, a leader is killed and uh, it's sad. And uh, I listened to him several times. Really? And, uh, and what he said was just so true and so right. So, um, to me, it was it was a, a sad day, and uh, wish it could have been undone. Yeah. So um, on the same thing, because I know it's kind of around the same the same area. But do you remember when like Kennedy was assassinated? Yes. And how was like uh, that? Was, was that worse that than this? Worse. Yeah. Yes, because I knew Kennedy better. You know, yeah. a little more about him and everything. Because I was older, you know, more mature. Yeah. And um, and. He was, you know, just a good man and uh, yeah, and our leader, and I sure, uh, yeah, hated that. I can't because that's like those are two like major. I, I guess I just don't think about it when you think about history, but like those are two major assassinations in such a short period. short period of time. Yeah, it makes me wonder about nowadays because they're not the same thing. You know, with assassinations now, you don't hear about them as much. But it's just kind of those are like just so prominent people. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, um, I guess, so my last question is just like, what would you like based on like your experience and the things that you've experienced through for all of the, both then and then now, because they're kind of recurring issues now, what would you like our generation to know? Well, I would like for you to know what it was, you know, what it was like, not clear back maybe to the slavery area, but, um, maybe before the the 60s uh kind of like it was um, a good calm life and uh, and now i'm happy that the blacks are um, asserting themselves and yeah. uh, and getting educated and uh you know speaking up and, and getting some rights some more rights for themselves and i i'm happy with the progress we're making yeah i am too i i think it's very watching it as a as an outside perspective because those are things I never knew existed either like I thought that those are things that were like hundreds of years ago not mm -hmm. you know so little ago so hearing that they're still suffering through things now and like becoming more aware it's kind of just something I like to follow it and see because it's something I never like growing up I just didn't know because mm -hmm. I mean yeah. I grew up at Bixby there weren't <laughs> yeah. I think we had two two pe people that were of color in school up until like my you know, high school years, those are just things I was never really aware of. Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting. Well, that's it. That's all I've really got. Thank you for sharing your um, your memories <laughs> and your experiences because that's like, it's just such a, it's a big movement that I don't feel like people talk about very much anymore, which I'm kind of surprised that it's not something that's more spoken of and, you know. Yeah, well, it's the past and I guess there's no need to keep bringing it up now that we're kind of moving away from it and uh, correcting some of the things that um, 
maybe needed to be corrected. Yep. And we weren't even aware of it. I know. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Well, you're sure welcome. So, yep, yeah, that was my oral history interview. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day.